be doing a Jeffree Star Velour Liquid Lip Dupe video. I have three limited edition lips and three regular always in stock permanent liquid lips so if you're interested in seeing how that goes, stay tuned. So the first one that I'm going to go ahead and describe is more of a corally pink shade. It's Watermelon Soda by Jeffree Star and this was limited edition in his summer collection but I know if you look on Amazon you can probably still find it. More on the cool tone. I'm going to be taking my Wet n Wild Mega Last Cat Soap Liquid Lip in the shade Coral Corruption. And this is just going to be a little tinge more red. And then they are side by side. Basically the difference between this Wet n Wild formula is that it's a little bit more moussey and goopy. They have similar applicators, they're kind of a doe foot curved applicator, but for the moussiness of the texture it's not really that good of a brush because it does clump in your cupid's bow and it's hard to have an even application without a lot of bleeding if that makes sense. I love the Jeffree Star Doe applicators just because they're bomb, they're my favorite. That's all I can say about it. All right, so the next one we're gonna go ahead and swatch is Gemini by Jeffree Star. Now this is a more brownie toned, mauve purple shade. These swatches are gonna suck, guys. Sorry, I've filmed this video like three times. And that's it. It's a really beautiful color for any type of skin tone. The dupe is ColourPop's Ultra Matte Lip in Bumble. This is $6, but the Jeffree Star Liquid Lipsticks run about $18, not including shipping. So these are going to be the same exact shades, but they're going to be pretty similar. Those are those two. They dry down to look exactly the same. Now the formula in this Ultra Matte Lip is not my favorite. If you're talking throughout the day, drinking, eating, laughing, it will tend to crumble around the inner rim inside your lip. Like I said, versus the 18, I would be willing to just, you know, suck it up or find a way to, I don't know, make it crumble less, maybe moisturize your lips. I don't know, I haven't tried it in that many different ways. The next shade we're trying is Androgyny. The most popular liquid lipsticks by him. And it is a grige shade. More on the purple tone. We're taking our liquid cast suit by Wet n Wild in the shade Rebel Rose. And this is just gonna be a tinge lighter but they dry out to be the same there we are this is my last makeup wipe yeah I filmed this video many a time so the next shade we're gonna go on to is celebrity skin by Jeffree Star cosmetics this looks great on every skin tone it's more of a nudie brown shade Excuse my non-perfect swatches, but you're getting the real deal here. <laughs> the real deal here. And then Beeper by ColourPop, their Ultra Matte Lip is so similar. So the other ones I'm going to do on my other hand. The first one's going to be Checkmate by Jeffree Star Cosmetics, and this was a limited edition in the holiday collection. It's a really hot fire truck red with more of an orange tone. And almost identical, but a little more on the browny, warm orange side, is Flame of the Game by Wet n Wild. See, these aren't as opaque as the Jeffree Star ones. They will take a couple more layers, but still. This one's more orange, and that one's more red. All right, and so the last one and the darkest one that we have is a really vampy red shade that I love on pale, deep, tan skin tones. Almost anybody can wear this shade. And it's called Designer Blood, also from the Holiday Collection by Jeffree Star Cosmetics. Now this is gonna have a more berry tone with some gold reflex in it. And what I'm comparing it to is Avenue by ColourPop Cosmetics. This is one of my favorite shades by them. Same berry tones, but this one's gonna be a little bit more brown. <laughs> all right, guys, so that's all. I hope you liked it, and if you wanna see any more videos like this, comment down below. Thank you so much for watching.